Hello and welcome to Experts Health Corner, where medical knowledge meets everyday clarity. In today's episode, we bring you expert-backed insights to help you make informed decisions about your health and well-being. Today's topic is, ultrasound findings of intrauterine fetal death at 20 weeks of gestation, caused by preterm rupture of membranes. This condition led to chorioamnionitis infection following PROM and was associated with significantly reduced amniotic fluid. Let's start the video. Today's ultrasound is different more informative. So don't skip it and see the video till end. Intrauterine fetal demise at 19 to 20 weeks period of gestation due to PROM leads to oligohydromios and chorioamniotis infection and fetal death inside uterus. Fetal head can be seen here within red arrows. Fetal skull bones can be seen here. Both arrows indicating fetal skull bones. Very early sign of intrauterine fetal death is Spalding S sign. Spalding S sign is overlapping of skull bones after intrauterine fetal death. Here you can see silent fetal chest. During normal alive fetus show movements of ribs during breathing. But here fetus is not alive. So we found silent chest without chest movements. Here yellow circle shows fetal chest, and fetal head can be seen inside red circle. Fetal skull bones are shown here. Both arrows are pointing skull bone. Fetal chest can be seen inside oval lines. Placenta is posteriorly lying, as seen here in ultrasound inside the circle. Decreased liquor or amniotic fluid can be seen here where arrows are pointing to black area. Fetal abdomen can be seen here inside circle. This slide is very important. Here you can see easily about the fetal head skull bones are overlapping. Arrows indicating the points of overlapping, inside the red circle silent fetal chest can be seen. Here again you can see fetal skull bones. Here you can see fetal abdomen inside the red circle. Now here B parietal diameter means diameter of skull bones is 4.9 cm and corresponding to 20 weeks and 2 day period of gestation. When foamer bone length of fetus measured it is 3.9 cm and showing 19 weeks and 3 days period of gestation. Here macerated fetus because of more time of IUFD inside uterus can be seen. Fetal cardiac activity absent inside silent fetal chest is visible here.
Silent fetal heart shown by red arrow here. Absent cardiac activity clearly be seen here. Here all four fetal limbs can be seen clearly, each yellow arrow showing one limb of fetus. Four fetal limbs are silent and proofing absent fetal body movements dot can be seen clearly, each yellow arrow showing one limb of fetus. Inside red outline fetal chest seen. Yellow arrow indicating fetal chest inside red oval lines. And inside small red circle fetal heart can be seen with red arrow pointing fetal heart. No activity of heart seen. Now inside red circle fetal abdomen can be seen. When fetal abdominal circumference taken it is measuring 14.9 cm which showing 19 weeks and 4 feet days period of gestation. All three measurements when taken they showing different period of gestation because of macerated fetus and its parts. All these signs on ultrasound confirm diagnoses of intrauterine fetal demise or fetal death due to prom and oligohydromios which leads to chorioamniotis and results in fetal death. Hope you like and understand the video. So like it, share it dot and don't forget to subscribe Experts Health Corner for more and amazing informational videos does.